uh, with the guy they call the magic man. He is so <laughs> hot that Sports Illustrated has named him the best team chef in the entire country. He's uh, here in our kitchen to prepare a great recipe for us today. And Harry, it looks like it's such a man-sized portion there, you're gonna have to help me eat it. I'm ready, <laughs> I'm ready to go. <laughs> All right, I'm walking over okay. here right now. Let's meet Majid Nouri, better known as Magic Man. Hi. How you doing? I'm fine, thank Good you. Good to see you. Boy, that was quite an honor you. for you, I guess, uh, to be the, uh, the best team chef in the nation from right, Sports Illustrated. Right. In fact, I think we have a little uh, copy of that uh, that we may show the people as we're talking about this. What, what was that like for you to find that you were named that special honor? I was excited. Mm -hmm. And it's not just only for me, it's good for, it's great honor for Vanderbilt and whole community in mm -hmm. uh, Nashville. Yeah. It's a big honor for me. You're not from around here, are you? No, I'm here last 18 years. 18 years, right, yeah. Where, where are you from? Uh, originally, I come from uh, Tehran, uh -huh. Iran. And you started well, actually at the University of Tehran, right? Right. Yeah. I started in there, and then uh, uh, my major is uh, physical education and sports science, and then I got a chef degree, and also I have a nutrition certificate, and I started mm -hmm. working in Vanderbilt last seven years, mm -hmm. but I've been in Nashville the last 18 years. Mm -hmm. So you've been able to combine all the things that you love, That's like sports, like nutrition and cooking, and loving, into a fabulous job. Yeah, love working with athletes also, too. Yeah, so you're in charge of the training table for all the athletes at Vanderbilt, right? That's correct. What are the different needs that these guys and gals all have? Well, basically, on football team, they need more, uh, more uh, calorie food, and they need to eat about like eight. Uh, some of them need to eat about eight thousand calories a day. On the other sports, uh, like basketball or running, they are different uh, menu. But kind of a hi yes. higher carbohydrate meal. Right, feel. right. Yeah. To high protein and high mm -hmm. carbohydrate. And every sport is high carbohydrate also. But uh, we work individual with all athletes, and same way with all of them. Yeah, that's great. Well, um, we have a great recipe here, a beautiful display. We're going to be you. preparing a blackened chicken salad. Who would who would you prepare this for? Um, I prepare that for all the athletes. Really? I mean, that's one of the real uh, famous uh, salad. They call it magic salad, mm -hmm. and uh, everybody loves that blackened chicken salad. Over yeah. there. Mostly, we have a few times a week on the salad bar station. Mm -hmm. And it looks delicious. Use a lot of them. Well, this is a recipe that you may want to try for your trading table at home. And before we get started with the recipe, let's take a look at what the kitchen magician says you're going to need to prepare this black chicken salad. You'll need some chopped romaine lettuce, some olive oil and lime juice, julienne celery, carrots, green, red, and yellow peppers, some red onions, two chicken breasts, some blackening seasoning, and a little bit of cooking oil. So why don't we get started here, Mr. Magic? Let's start making the uh, blackened seasoning first. Okay. I have all the ingredients ready. I have paprika, one cup. So this is going to make a large amount of the seasoning, right? It that makes you can keep. two cups. Yeah, it okay. It makes two cups, and you don't need that much for that uh, recipe salad. You need okay. about uh, five teaspoons. So you can keep this then and use right, it for other things as well. It. Here's the salt. Okay. Quarter cups. You have basil mm -hmm. and also thyme is uh, one teaspoon of each okay and quarter cup of onion powder and uh, garlic powder and this here looks good. thank you black pepper it's uh, one quarter cup okay and here it's uh, paprika and all spice one teaspoon mm -hmm. and make sure you mix it real well. Yeah, that has a nice color to it, too. Right. So it, it's adds a red color when you, when you cook it. It's mm -hmm. excellent. You can use it for almost anything. So it's not fish, right. pork, You can use it on anything. Beef? It's not hot neither. Yeah, on okay. anything. If you wanted to spice it up a little more, what would you add to you it? You can uh, add some cayenne peppers. Okay. Or reduce the cayenne peppers. And before you're using every time, you need to stir it up well because the salt is heavier than the other spices and set them on the bottom of the pan. Okay. A great spices. big container right. then, uh, and then you'll probably just use a little bit right. for, uh, for the chicken. Can Two, I read uh, something? Five, five tables, uh, a spoon. Okay. Great. Make right. sure if you want to blacken anything, let the pan get hot first. Okay. Then as soon as the pan is hot, add one ounce oil. Okay. And this is olive oil, right? right. Okay. No, any kind of cooking oil you can use. Oh, okay. Any kind of cooking great. oil. Great. Desire. So do you find that the athletes are kind of demanding about what they like? Or are they pretty pretty much, you know, they'll eat whatever you fix them? No, pretty much I know what they like. Yeah. You know, mostly uh, lots of pasta. And they love lots of uh, salads also. Here we uh, toss uh, five ounce chicken breast. That's for two serving. Okay. Yeah. And then you can have... And you're going to skin pieces. that chicken breast right, first, right? Right, and trim okay. it, trim the fat Okay. Off. Make sure the pan is hot. 
Oh, it's, yeah, it looks like it's getting hot. Yeah, it turns out a pretty color with that black yeah, and spice. Yeah, after it cook, it's real pretty. Could you also do this on the grill? It's not going to be blackened when you do it on the grill. Okay. It's a lot better when you... See, that's why you're the expert. that. <laughs> <laughs> now, while you're cooking that, uh, I'm going to start, give a couple tips for the folks at home. Okay. They can make also that like sandwiches. Oh, that's a good idea. Which, uh, most of the people use the mayonnaise in the sandwich, mm -hmm. and it's, you know, the mayonnaise is not healthy. You can flavor the food or any type of sandwiches with the uh, blackened seasoning. That's mm -hmm. excellent for the sandwiches. So skip the mayonnaise and you lose a right. lot of the fat. Right. And it still yeah. you have the, the flavor. It's tasty. Okay. Uh, this one is a nice recipe which I already made it with pita pocket. You can idea. have blackened chicken and then make sure to have some diced tomatoes and chopped parsley. Mm -hmm. And I made one with the uh, bagels. That's really oh, healthy. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. And you can also do it with turkey, turkey breast. Mm -hmm. You can do it the same way I did with the chicken. And almost everybody has in turkey at home, and they're mm -hmm. tired of using same sandwiches. Yes, and exactly. You can escape away from mayonnaise and use the seasoning. Yeah. Tell us about these great-looking milkshakes down on the end, too. These, these are, are the special I was going to do it for uh, dessert. These are real famous, my shake, and every athlete loves those. Mm -hmm. And uh, these are... Uh, made like that one is blackberry banana shake Ooh. and that one is raspberry raspberry honeydew oh yeah those are for summer summer mm -hmm. so you, you even made cool off. didn't you even make a pasta marinara shake one time for a soccer player yeah, that one of the that? soccer player broke uh, her jaw and uh, she couldn't uh, chew anything so mm -hmm. i had to make i had to uh, feed her, her every day and it was a kind of hard to lose weight so yes. she was coming in the training table and I was every day making some type of different food in the sh uh, pasta marinara shake, alfredo shake, and mushroom, and it was the same flavor. She loves it. You just I take mean. care of whatever they need. <laughs> okay, so here's, uh, here's the salad. I've got about a minute left here. I turned that once. It's looking good. Yeah. So you're using and a I bed have, of romaine lettuce. Right. Mm -hmm. I have all the vegetables ready for the salad, okay. which we can also use you say mixing bowl. Oh, okay. I have already measured that Cajun uh, blackened seasoning. You don't need that much. Right. You need just five teaspoons. Okay. The mixing bowl. Also, you can have lime juice. Make sure to squeeze the lime. So you like I fresh lime it. juice as opposed to the uh, right. concentrated stuff. And olive oil. Okay. Well, that's where the olive oil came in. I knew there was some somewhere right. in the recipe. And so then, this is your dressing then, right? Right. This, this looks olive. good. Thank you. It's real tasty. And by the way, while you're still mixing up, I wanted to tell you that uh, Majid was nice enough to bring along a couple of tickets to Vandy's first home game. That's against North Texas. If you're the fifth person to call right now at 615-737-5500, you're going to win two tickets to the very first Vandy football game. So, uh, all right, we'll kind of continue that cooking this up. almost ready. When it's firm, it's, ready. it's not yet, but when it's firm, you know that's ready. And here's and our now, finished product right here. What you're right. going to do is, is add lots of lovely julienne vegetables. Right. Pour the dressing over the top, and we're set, huh? We are almost set. Looks Here good. Here is the yellow peppers. Two mm. ounces. Mm -hmm. Green red peppers. Two ounces also. Julienne, all of them julienne. Okay. Celery. Which is just thinly slicing them, right? Right. Okay. And then carrots. It's hard to uh, cut carrots, julienne. Make sure you don't, don't cut Gotta yourself. Gotta be careful. You know, it's, it's I think hard. We're, we're really blackening here, yeah. <laughs> I tell you, I'm going to grab a fork and taste some of this finished product because I want you to know how good this is, and I can tell already that it's going to be yeah, delicious. Tell me the truth, though. Of course, I'll tell you the <laughs> truth. Mmm. Oh boy. You're right. I love the flavor. It's delicious. It's mm, so good. It's excellent on the sandwich. I mean, real healthy. Mm -hmm. healthy That's great. It's recipe number 15. Oh, sorry, 1905. If you want to write in for it, we'd be glad to mail it out to you. And, Majid, thank, thank you so much for being here today. You're welcome. It's neat to have a national celebrity right here in Nashville. Thank you. Still more talk of the town to come. We're going to be back with some music from Timberwolf, one of the feature bands that are gearing up for tomorrow night's Dancing in the District show. First, though, here are the ingredients for this wonderful blackened chicken salad.